Hello, everybody. Hello, friends. Oh, good. I think we were live when Melissa was doing her woohoo. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, everybody, to Sunday Night Live. We have finally have Melissa back with us. Yay! <laughs> we're celebrating. Uh, we're celebrating Mother's Day. We're celebrating Safe Travel Day today. We're celebrating. Uh, relaxing time. We're celebrating all kinds of things today. So, so glad you guys are joining on with us. If you are watching on the recording, you're definitely going to want to stick around with us because we don't know what we're doing and it's live. So you never know what's going to happen. <laughs> and that's just the way it is. Um, all right. So, um, you know what? Today is brought to you by the letter M. M. For and Mother's Day. What? M for Mother's Day. Okay, we could have done that if we tried, you guys. <laughs> Look at that. And this is kind of M part one because we do have a lot of other M's to go through, but um, sure. but we're going to talk about some setting up some boundaries in our lives. We're going to talk about getting some of the foundational pieces together for our wellness. We're going to talk about those of you that may need a sedative um, or those of you who are looking for a new perfume in your life. Um, and so, and we have a gift for those of you who are just tuning in. Hey, Amy, good to see you on here. I have a gift just for you and those of you who have tuned in at the beginning. Um, so let me see. I'm going to share my screen um, because you are going to love these two blends that I have to share with you. Um, the first one is a relaxing legs, and this is a roller bottle blend. Mm -hmm. um, and this is, so you're going to do five, actually five to seven drops of lavender, marjoram, and vetiver. And this is going to be really good for relaxing your legs. So for those of you who maybe have a harder time sleeping at night, relaxing your legs, this is an awesome roller bottle blend. You can put these drops in a little 10 milliliter roller bottle and fill the rest up with your carrier oil that you want. And you can put this on your feet and your legs at night before you go to bed. And bonus, these are actually amazing oils to help you rest well too. Yes. So, um, so that is for you. And then I have a second gift and that is a diffuser blend also with marjoram. That's one that we're gonna talk about tonight. And this is called Complete Sedation. Ooh. Um, yes. So screenshot these if you want these. This diffuser blend is three drops clary sage, three drops marjoram, and two drops bergamot for an amazing night's sleep. Um, now, if you have a smaller room, you may want to cut this down to maybe you can just change the rate. I mean, keep the ratios, but just cut them down to two, two, and one. Um, that's what I like to do sometimes if I'm in a bigger room or a smaller room. So um, but complete sedation for you guys. So, so those of you who are watching, which one are you most excited about? Put in the comments either sed the complete sedation or the re relaxing legs blend. Let me know which one is your is your most favorite from those. I'm um, voting both. I'm Do you want? Both. I am voting, voting for both. both. What I are you voting, Melissa? I'm, I'm voting to put complete sedation in my kids' room at night. Yes. Yes. And we're just not going to tell them. <laughs> um, I'm going to sedate you. I may not be uh, a mom who's going to give my kids whiskey at night, but I will give you the diffuser blend that is going to let you out. <laughs> I will completely sedate you now. How do you get your kids to sleep? Oh, I sedate them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love it. Okay. Um, okay. So um, what's next? What are we doing? Oh, Oh, you know. Oh, yeah. So all the stuff we're talking about tonight. So let's see. We're talking about, what are we talking about? We're talking about Magnolia Touch. Yes, we are. Oh, yeah, wait. That one, okay. I have this is a newer roller bottle. Um, we're going to be talking about the prized Manuka. Yes. Look, it's even gold. Look, it's even gold. The label is gold. And the Manuka Touch, which is mm. also gold. Um, we're going to talk about marjoram. Let's see, marjoram 
mm-hmm. and Melaleuca, one of Jennifer's favorites, Love and it. Melaleuca Touch. Mm-hmm. Um, what are we talking about? Oh, we're going to talk about we're going to talk about Melissa the oil, not to be confused with Melissa, our friend. And and this is going to be a big shocker to you guys, but Melissa is going to talk about Melissa at That's least a little bit. Confusing. I mean, how could we not? Um, and then we're going to talk about something that is not an oil, but has oils in it, yes. the Microplex VMZ. Okay. Mm-hmm. So um, what do you most want to know about these? We are dying to want to know. Now we did poll, put in the comments if you're watching, what do you most want to know about? Or if there's an oil that specifically you don't know anything about, put in the comments, like what, what does Melissa do? Or and Melissa's going to tell us what she does. Um, <laughs> or like, what What in the world is Manuka? I've never even heard of them before. Um, so put those in the comments. But we did also poll inside our customer group, the Essential Life Tribe, and we asked them what they wanted to know about these. Mm-hmm. And so they shared with us. Um, and here's what we heard. Everybody wanted to know, they said, I need a healthy option or I need an option for healthy blood pressure levels. So we're going to talk about that tonight. And other people said, I need a sedative. So what can I use? Well, we've already given you one gift on that. Mm -hmm. (laughs) So if you're just now joining us, you're going to want to go to the back to the beginning because um, we already shared an awesome sedative blend with you. Um, And then some of you were like, I just need a new perfume. And I think there were a few others that said my adrenal glands need some additional support. And where do I even start with that? Mm-hmm. Now, nobody selected these, but we're going to talk about these two because we feel like these are pretty hot topics about help. I need to set some boundaries in my life, or I know somebody who really needs to set up some boundaries in their lives. And um, the queen of this topic is going to talk about this tonight. And <laughs> And then uh, what happens when there's a fungus among us? Because maybe that doesn't happen very often, but when it does, we're like, um, there's a fungus among us and we need to like take care of that. We need like a heavy hitter for that. And so we're going to talk about that too, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. (laughs) Um, Okay. So let's dive in. Hey, Bethany. Hey, Rhonda. Good to see you guys on here. Yes. Yes. Glad you guys are joining us. Um, okay, so let's talk about this healthy blood pressure levels issue. Mm-hmm. Um, this is actually something that has come up a lot in um, my own family's life, my mom in particular. Um, she has struggled with um, just kind of keeping healthy blood pressure levels for quite some time. And for the longest time, we didn't know what was going on. Um, and, and now we know that there's been some, um, she had some lead exposure, which I don't know if you guys know this, but lead exposure can impact your ability to keep healthy blood pressure levels, um, which was news to us. And it's news to a lot of people, including cardiologists. So, um, but she has been doing lots of things to help maintain healthy blood pressure levels. And one of the things that she uses is the Magnolia touch. I mean, who did that? Um, now she sees Magnolia as a blessing in her life. Um, I mean, I see all the oils as a blessing, but you know, she prayed forever to be able to grow Magnolia trees. Who, who loves Magnolia trees? I mean, do you guys let, like Jacob, Magnolia? Jacob does. He is a huge fan and we have them right outside our windows and he just loves them. And their blossoms are just, you know, so huge. My mom has loved Magnolias forever and always wanted to have them on her property and she can't grow them. They need more sun and she has a lot of shade where she is. And so when she got this oil, she was like, I feel like God is blessing me with, you know, you can still have your magnolia. (laughs) Isn't that just a neat way? You know, like if I can't grow it, I can at least smell it and it can help my body. And so she actually puts it on her wrists and behind her ears. Um, and um, sometimes on her feet when she needs to help maintain those healthy blood pressure levels. So I, and do you guys, I know you, Melissa, you said you don't to particularly care for it. I love it. It's kind of, it's, so it's a flower, obviously, but when you smell it, it has kind of a citrus overtone to it. Well, um, it's, it's one of the oils it, more than others to me that smells different on people's bodies. So mm. 
it does not smell the way in the bottle when you put it on your skin. So if you don't like the smell of it, try a little bit on your skin because it will change the way that it smells. I like that you mentioned that because that's true. Over time, I've learned more and more that don't just go by what I smell out of the bottle if I don't like it because it can smell different in the diffuser versus putting it on topically and I may end up liking it. So, um, which also answers our other thing when people said I need a new perfume option. Mm -hmm. The flowers are awesome options to, yeah. I just got rid of my perfumes. I don't know about you guys, but I didn't, I found I wasn't using them anymore. I have too many options now with my oils that mm -hmm. I'm like, I could have all the different perfumes, whatever mood I was in or wanted, I can just switch them up. And so I love having that option, but mm -hmm. just as a side note about Magnolia, it actually has two to three times the amount of linalool that, um, as lavender. So it's super, super soothing, which hmm. makes sense why it would help you maintain those healthy blood pressure levels too. But it can also help with anxiousness. Um, it can help with rashes. It can also help with any kind of menstrual discomfort. Um, it can help with memory and focus and a whole plethora of other things, including even, excuse me, even stimulating your lymphatic system. Mm -hmm. So, um, this would be another good one you could add to your dry brushing. And if you do dry, dry brushing because it stimulates the lymphatic system. Um, so you can like be smelling amazing and dry brushing at the same time. If anybody wants to know more about dry brushing, just put it in the comments and I'll share a little video I did with that, with about that. Um, okay. Um, do we want to talk about other um do we want to talk about Microplex now or do we want to wait till we move on to the other? I think we could, well, hold on. Let me say one thing about Magnolia real quick. Cause you know, Ooh, yes. with the, um, with the emotions book and looking at the details on that. So Magnolia is actually considered to be the oil of compassion. Okay. So if you are someone that struggles with um, showing grace and mercy and compassion to other people, this could be a really good oil for you. It also says that it is very gentle and pure, and it has like a maternal nurturing that helps to facilitate deep healing and soul level change. Once the individual feels safe and loved, they will naturally see where they are holding compassion from themselves and from those around them. So it helps people to find their empathy. So for me, Empathy is my number two strength, right? But not everybody has empathy. And so if you are somebody that's like, oh, I'm more empathetic sometimes, Magnolia is your go-to. I love that. Almost like a softening. Yep, absolutely. I absolutely. love that. I, you know what? That even reminds me of just, um, I've noticed that my boys, I don't know if this is just a boys in general or kids just in general, but I noticed that I have to kind of teach them to, to show compassion to others, especially their brothers. If, you know, mm -hmm. one brother is hurt, I have to show them, Hey, you can't just ignore your brother who's coming in screaming and crying. Cause he's got hurt. Like, <laughs> You know, you can't just be like reading a book. <laughs> oh, I see you're hurt. You know, like, let's, we have like, let's show compassion. And so I love that I have another tool that I could use for not only for myself, but also for my boys that could help yes. them just kind of soften up with that. Um, no. I love that. Okay. Um, okay. So do we want to talk about? I wonder, I want that? to go back to what you said real fast, Jennifer. Oh. I wonder if that would be a really good one to diffuse, maybe with some other stuff after or when you're trying to resolve arguments so that uh -huh. you, you have compassion for that other person and maybe change your perspective and see from their point of view. Uh -huh. And it's I wonder what it would be like with forgive. So mm -hmm. it actually doesn't mention forgive. Here are the oils that it says are really good companion oils. It's myrrh, okay. cedarwood, marjoram, manuka. What? Oh, now we're getting somewhere. Mardra, Manuka, and Arbor Vitae are the other ones. So a lot of our M oils are in the fruit. That's very interesting. That, that, that is. is. Yes. That is. Okay. Oh, we're getting deep here. Okay. I know, right? All right. We can't get too more deep anymore because we got to keep going with the... <laughs> you know, <laughs> okay, fun. Microplex. We want to talk about this because this also could be pretty foundational with some other stuff too. 
Yeah. yeah. Microplex is part of the LLV or your daily nutrient pack. And I think it's foundational for everyone. If you are already healthy, then take it so you can stay that way. If you have any issues that you're trying to address, you got to take it. This replaces, you know, whatever you're doing, Centrum, Women's One a Day, Flint's Doubles, like whatever you're doing, this is instead of that. And you don't have to do that. And the bonus here is that the microplex is bioavailable, which just means that your body recognizes it as something that it can use. It recognizes it as food. Everything that's in that pill, your body will take and use those vitamins versus um, some of the synthetic stuff that's on the market. Your body doesn't know how to do anything with that. So it just, you're peeing out people. That's fair. No way to say it. You're just peeing it out. You're not getting anything out of those other vitamins. Yeah. I had a chiropractor tell me one time that she did x-rays on people all the time and she could see their vitamins sitting in there. And she was like, I know which people are taking synthetic vitamins and who's not because I can see them sitting in their bodies. Oh, like, not going anywhere. You're just, they're just sitting there. Their body doesn't know how to absorb it quickly. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Honestly, you know, like I know there was a time where I took that kind of stuff, but I like now, uh, I just, I can't imagine being somebody that had that stuff sitting in my body. It's no wonder I had all the issues that I had. Yeah. I'm so grateful that we have other things that we can turn to. Yeah. And that we have the knowledge and we can share that with other people because if you're taking vitamins, you're trying to do something good for your body. Nobody like, let me take a vitamin that's going to do nothing for my body. You don't think that way. So you don't yeah. know. This is a no better, do better type of situation. Yeah. This is one of those that you actually, you take it and you do actually feel differently. Yeah. <laughs> like it does actually mm -hmm. impact how you feel. And so, yeah, like Melissa was saying, when you combine this, your Mycoplex VMZ with the Alpha CRS and the V Omega, this makes for an excellent foundation in starting to maintain those healthy blood pressure levels. Um, and if you're one of those people who is like, I'm not sure about taking swallowing all that stuff. The cool thing is these open, so you can just open them right up and sprinkle them if you want, mm -hmm. or you can use our amazing uh, pill taking hack. You guys know that hack, right? Well, show us now. Yes. So you like put a pill, this has some oils in it. You put it in your mouth and I'm gonna take a sip and then I'm gonna put my head down and gravity is going to push it up and I'm going to swallow it and I'm not even going to feel it going in. So, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. that's a hack. 